this check it out nice 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 hi everyone this is Chichok. welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today what is today today is february 21st 2022 2 21 2022 pretty cool numbers lots of twos tomorrow we're gonna get a two 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 and two 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 <laughs> Maybe we should have done the math tutoring session uh, tomorrow. Uh, so today is uh, Monday morning, 10 a.m. And we're doing our drop-in math tutoring session. Number 79 plus. And uh, as you can tell, we've done a few of these. Um, just basically here, making myself available for a couple hours as often as possible. The plan was to make myself available a couple hours every week or at least twice a month. Um, but I just got inundated with uh, students and uh, uh, for certain maneuvers that our family had to make, uh, I increased my load uh, for students. Uh, so that sort of interfered with our live streams, but I'll try to uh, arrange it so we're back to at least uh, twice a month um, for these tutoring sessions and while we wait for notifications to go out um, I'm gonna do my little intro that I do for uh, these videos these live streams that are going to be loaded on our other video sharing platforms and for those of you who want to know what this is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho Saturn x2 Saturn hello hello hope you're doing well welcome <laughs> to our live streams <laughs> And gang, if you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow the work, you can follow the work there. I don't put anything by a paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And this is the core essence of what we are doing, which is mathematics. And almost everything that we do is layered on mathematics, and we will connect up everything at some point in the future. And some of the stuff we have already connected up uh, into the realm of mathematics, uh, looked at it from the lens of the language of mathematics, which gives us a huge insight into any particular system, right? And for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, I hope you like what you are seeing and what you are supporting because it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. X2 Saturn, I am terrible at math. In fact, when I was in college, I failed basic algebra the first time around, but you make it so interesting to listen to awesome Saturn. Um, and the blame of you not doing well in math does not, for the most part, is not on you, it's on the system because basic algebra is it's intuitive it makes sense for us right the system our centralized indoctrinations indoctrination centers make it confusing and as far as i'm concerned that is by design they don't want people to know mathematics uh general society uh the masses to be literate in the language of mathematics because if everybody was literate in the language of mathematics then centralized power would not control their lives right and we've talked a lot about this uh, but I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Uh, Lark Bark, how are you doing? Hey, buddy, morning. Woohoo! <laughs> Chicho and everyone. Indeed, good morning, everyone. And gang, we are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv uh, forward slash Chicho Live. C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in these live streams, hello, Crafter, how are you doing? And hello, Void, how's life? Checking in, checking in. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you, Elder God, how are you doing? For those of you who are here on these live streams and participating in discuss these discussions, gang, thank you very much for being here and for the support. And mods, as always, Elder God, you are in the house always. Brother, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Thank you for taking care of business crafter i stopped studying medicine back to engineering math oh really uh, yeah i'd i'd question the medical <laughs> so 
<laughs> I think math and engineering are a little bit better. Uh, Nicholas, how are you doing, brother? Hope life is treating you well. Hey, Chicho, hey, chat. What's up? Math is up. Math is up. Lark Park. Uh, what up, mate? Uh, Lark Park to Elder God. Crafter absolutely disliked the semester, uh, semester medicine I studied. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at how the world's progressing, um, looks like a lot of. Uh, What's going on in the healthcare industry is more about rhetoric than following their own principles. Uh, but we'll leave that for discussion on current events, right? Mil C, how are you doing? Hey, brother in chat. Could do with some math reminders. Awesome, awesome. And if there's anything you guys want to talk about, uh, let us know. Uh, there are things I could definitely uh, teach off the cuff. Uh, basically, all of high school math. <laughs> and uh we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor getter and bitcloud you can follow the work there and we do have a discord page that you're definitely welcome to join you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and in the chat type in exclamation mark discord and the link to the server will pop up there that's your invite you can join and the links will be in the description of this video as well uncharted days hello hello hey chicho hope you and chad are having a great day indeed it's a nice day today is a holiday in i don't know if it's all of canada or not but it's bc and the united states is a holiday uh so uh, it's nice and chill i think it's family day in bc or something <laughs> so why not let's do a little mathematics lark by chicho were you uh where were you during my math years in college <laughs> depends when you studied math uh the odds are if you were in college in the last 20 years i was teaching mathematics i was teaching mathematics and if you were in college in the late 2000 2007 2008 2009 uh thank you very much uh hiv positive <laughs> oh no you must have participated in the greatest psyop in human history but if you were in uh, studying math in college in the late 2000s uh, i was uploading videos on sensor to teaching mathematics right elder god regular boring monday here in the uk boring is okay i think boring is okay boring is not bad for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chyc shows a podcast and those podcasts are available and should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play lark park i was attending college 10 years ago at devry university dev devry university where's devry university lark park i don't know that one and 10 years ago, yep, I was making math videos. A lot of them. A lot of them. Joe, very windy. Third storm here in a week. Really? Here, we had snow this morning. We had snow this morning, but it's nice and sunny now, so it's really nice. Uh, definitely going to be going for a walk after, after this live stream. Walks are back, baby. Walks are back. Saturn, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate the support appreciate the support and we gotta we gotta fix up that zombie emote we gotta i gotta figure out an emote to put in there maybe a truck going honk honk <laughs> lark bark also oh, making fun math is uh, math fun is brilliant indeed and it's good exercise it's good exercise i detest our centralized indoctrination centers first and foremost because they made people dislike math they they shat on math and for that they cannot forgive them right void hook fifth day of snowstorms on quebec love the great white north love the great white north indeed and gang oh let's check out devry university is a private for-profit university with its headquarters and um nappy naper Ville, Illinois, 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 really, campuses throughout the United States, founded in 1931 by Herman A. Davry. Devry, the school is regionally accredited by the Higher Learning uh, Commission. Cool, cool, cool. I don't, you know, the name, the way you spelt it, I've seen it before, but it didn't ring a bell. 
Uh, Elder God, 32 years since I was in education. I didn't have the Chicho assistance. <laughs> Either did I. <laughs> I wish I did. And gang, we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. This is mathematics. And mathematics goes everywhere, right? So we're going to upload this to SensorTube as well. But if you are watching this on SensorTube, if you want to get all of our content, uh, you want to be on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey, or Odyssey, one of those three, because that's where we upload everything, not on SensorTube. SensorTube is not a platform anymore for independent creators. It's a platform for technocrats and those pushing the corporate agenda. And we are anything but corporate, <laughs> right? First time chat. Uh, CL Stelter, 2323. You're really... Uh, <laughs> really i don't know what the hell the god killed it <laughs> boo <laughs> first time chat within 10 seconds done <laughs> oh my god look at this dude hilarious hilarious <laughs> <laughs> the last thing was don't delete me and the elder god came in boo <laughs> dead <laughs> hilarious lurk boy right Every university has been through some hot water over the years through losses. Oh, is that what it is? That's maybe where I've seen it. The logo popping up or the name popping up. Let me take these guys down. And Void. I am 27 and always treated teachers as my enemy. And a few years after high school came to so many realizations. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, there are some teachers that behave as your enemy but many teachers try their best right but it's the system that it's it's just ties their hands behind their back right many of them um, it's uh, we need decentralization and one of the main things that we need is decentralization of education 100 percent x2 saturn laugh out loud what a way to make us enter <laughs> entrance and an exit <laughs> that this is this is like judo right or jiu-jitsu right you use their momentum and throw it away they come in you do this and you go you just grab them and just push them out slowly and they go flying right it's martial arts <laughs> larry bark is great job elder god indeed <laughs> Ronnie, teachers don't get paid enough, at least in America. No, they don't. They don't get paid enough. In Scandinavian countries, they get paid as much as doctors, from what I understand, which is they need to be paid more, right? And uh, there needs to be some kind of... Uh, and look, the centralization of education and everything has really destroyed uh, the fabric of our societies, and we need to work towards decentralizing things, right? Ronnie, I'm studying right now and taking a small break. Awesome, awesome. Studying is an amazing space to be, really. Like, just imagine that your only job in life is to learn, right? Man, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet, right? That elder got to a lark bar. Math is troll heavy usually. Yeah, it, it, it has been sometimes, right? And I think that's because the the trolls, some of those trolls, are have gone through our centralized indoctrination centers, and they think math is their enemy, right? They're too stupid to realize if they studied math, it would improve their trollability, right? It would make them power them up, huge. They wouldn't these be weak trolls that you can throw around like a rag doll, right? Weak trolls are the worst thing, right? Weak trolls, weak trolls are, are, are the sewers of the internet, right? They're, they're what, they're what real, real trolls and real uh, hackers and people who know what the internet is about. They do their, their they're those people's BM, right? <laughs> It's funny. It cracks me up. The internet gang. I've been on online since the late 1980s. So I've seen the progression of the internet, right? And it, it's it's incredible. It's brilliant. And man, I can honestly tell you, 
uh, the 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 information available online if you know how to get it and educate yourself is amazing uh, but unfortunately there's a lot of people that like the sound of their own their own ignorance so they 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 tend to try to uh, destroy uh, or uh, what's the best way of saying it they they don't understand what it means to be alive to have fun to learn to to have the human experience right they don't get it so if they don't get it they assume that no one must get it <laughs> right? they're 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 what we would call uh useful idiots of the centralized state right like work there's uh there's some good teachers and bad teachers but uh, the education system is behind the outcome indeed Allah god has a itchy trigger finger respect <laughs> he's got a really sharp trigger finger really when elder god takes someone out they deserve to be taken out 99.9 percent .9%. unfortunately you know there's one percent less than one percent is uh, collateral damage as you would say and it is what it is right it is what it is uh boost boost gumps thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate the support appreciate the support yes learning is never ending learning is never ending never be content boys and girls ronnie says indeed all uh, stream that that lark bark yeah i've noticed that two two out of all uh streams now uh not even the political streams carry uh, that much trolls yeah to a certain degree political streams we haven't had very many trolls which is good i mean what are they going to troll in like discussion i don't know weird ronnie i think people that fear math just feel uh overwhelmed because they appear to be never ending concepts but really math is simple and everything just builds off of some simple axiom yeah indeed ronnie and one of the things uh you've noticed that centralized power does right centralized power centralized capitalist power or those who want to manipulate control humanity right have figured out that humanity we have a tendency to fear what we do not understand right and to be violent against that thing whatever it might be a lot of people who've gone through our centralized indoctrination centers been they've been indoctrinated programmed to to fear mathematics right so one thing they do when they fear mathematics is they lash out like little children right now for them to be able to evolve into full grown thinking human beings they have to let go of that fear they have to let go of that indoctrination they have to become um, you know break their chains that centralized power has put on them right and that's one of the reasons we're here and one of the reasons we create the content that we do right to get rid of that stigma of fear in mathematics once you understand what math is which is the language we have developed to try to understand the world <laughs> like really the language we have developed to try to understand the world and interact with it as best as we can for the time that we are here man why in the world would you not take the time to learn that to acquire that tool that's the most ultimate power up in any game that you would play right and life is your game right saturn had some great teachers in school that saved my life i got kicked out of my house my last year in high school oh no and i had a teacher that would bring me food every day oh nice teacher man uh, and i lived with one of my football coaches for a few months till i was back on my feet oh wow man good on you saturn good on you uh for seeing it through man and fantastic that you had the support there to help you out uh, that's really good man it's unfortunate you have to go through that um, but Nietzsche right what doesn't kill you makes you stronger 
Ronnie, damn, you had great mentors around you. Yeah, Saturn, indeed. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Chalaga, the liberal troll is the worst kind of human being. <laughs> useful, idiot, useful, idiot, useful, idiot, useful idiot. Funny, funny. Saturn, for sure. I would probably be homeless if it wasn't for that. Wow. Wow, Saturn. Man, that is what amazing teachers are all about, right? They are a support system. That's fantastic, man. You're lucky, Saturn. Uh, the education system in America is broken. Uh, Lark Bark uh, says that the education system in America is broken. Same with Canada. It's it's been gutted. It's annihilated. Canadian education system is you can just flush it down the toilet. It's pff, done, right? Da, da, da. Yoki sixty two first time chat. Hello, hello. How are you doing? And welcome to our live stream. Welcome to our live stream. Yeah, math is definitely universal micro twist how are you doing hey gang what uh, tool what tool are you are you uh, are you talking about what tool what tool mathematics the language of mathematics being the ultimate tool that you can acquire to help you navigate this life and help you to become the best you can be or what you want to be right it doesn't even have to be the best you can be it's what you want to be how you want to interact with this life right that's what it is just notice the shaven head is back. Ah, yes baby yes baby I took it down yesterday it I let it grow like it, once it goes beyond a certain level I gotta I gotta trim it off I like the slick feel uh, aerodynamic aerodynamic love it Maddie G how are you doing free McAfee <laughs> McAfee didn't kill himself right neither did the other guy and neither did the newest guy and neither will maxwell <laughs> craziness craziness oh let me show you my snacks game a persian store has these things these are whoop, these are ginger caramelized uh, not caramelized but uh what do you call it with sugar on them it's like ginger and check it out and it's spicy it's probably not the healthiest thing for you but the ginger part is the ginger part is, is really good and ginger is amazing for the tummy Sugar coated ginger, sugar coated ginger. Goes amazing with tea. Haha, <laughs> never had raw ginger, only ginger ale. <laughs> There's a reason why ginger ale, if you feel sick and you've got you know tummy issues and whatnot with the flu, ginger ale is like ah oh, when you drink it, it's just like whew, just a relief the carbonation and the ginger uh, i don't know if it's got real ginger or not but ginger is amazing for the tummy saturn can't wait for maxwell cell guards to fall asleep and for the cameras to stop working i'm already ready for it <laughs> incredible eh incredible incredible Elder God, I eat ginger raw. Great for you. Yeah, yeah, I do as well every now and then. Just pop a ginger. It's like really spicy, but in a good way. And definitely ginger tea. Ginger tea is super good. Maddie G. Yep, it's my to go to stomach ache. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ginger has got to be uh, for your medicine cabinet. It's not a medicine cabinet. It's, food is your first medicine, by the way. Should be your first medicine. Um, preventative medicine you want to call it or preventative food right? but ginger should be something that you should always have in your home ginger and mint are ginger mint and turmeric 
what else? <laughs> and salt <laughs> and a whole bunch of other herbs, right? But ginger, mint, turmeric are two things that uh, should be staple in uh, in your kitchen. Uh, and it should be something that you use uh, on a regular basis. Uh, mint, mint is amazing for the tummy. Ginger is uh, mint is just amazing. Period, uh, amazing flavor as well. Same with ginger, and ginger is good for the tummy. And turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. Uh, turmeric uh, I put in a lot of my foods that I cook, and uh, it's fantastic. Another god, we uh, we could math out probability of Max Paul slipping on a wet floor, <laughs> or somehow somehow finding rope uh, and a chair and something who knows and is it really her who knows but we can talk about that during our current events live stream for mathematics i'm not sure i'm not sure the math like people have in large part in my part of the world the ones uh, like really the, the, i feel i feel seriously bad for kids who are taking math uh, in school right now in Canada because they're behind they never catch up so there's at least a two year period where at least two years worth of uh, engineers scientists mathematicians physicists geophysicists engineer whatever you want to whatever the economists uh, statisticians m medicine there's a minimum two-year period in canada right now where 90 percent of the people that would have gone into those fields will not be going to those fields and this is extending right now we're going into the three-year period and stuff so there's going to be a serious backlash uh repercussions to what's happened with these lockdowns with our education system because uh we're going to have serious gap uh, need for certain amount of uh, uh, people to be in certain fields that require mathematics right or higher degree estag that's russian i'm assuming i think it's russian i'm pretty sure that's russian salutations welcome to our live stream and mathematics in russia powerful powerful russian russia is probably producing the most powerful mathematicians in the world and has been doing so for number of decades nothing touches uh russian mathematicians really like the mathematics ability in in russia is through the roof <laughs> like what we learn here what we do here what canadians do in high school math russians do in elementary school math right so and kazooie kaz kazi ah, 24 welcome to our live stream russia and iran has the best engineers in the world yeah iran too iran 40 years ago they were teaching calculus in grade eight 40 years ago in canada you couldn't find a high school that taught you calculus i know this because her family came from Iran 40 years ago. The mathematics I learned halfway through grade five in Iran 40 years ago took me all the way to grade 10 in Canada 40 years ago. When I got to grade 10, we had just started in Canada. When I got to grade 10, we had just started doing what I was doing halfway through grade five in Iran. Whoa, crazy, crazy. um joe have you heard of uh xeno's paradox yeah that rings a bell but i can't remember what the paradox is joe i can't remember what the paradox is uh maddie g i work at a university they pay for two free classes uh, per semester i want to learn coding but calculus is required and i'm terrible at math you have to uh challenge uh you have to challenge yourself you have to challenge yourself and maddie g look i had a problem with calculus when i first took it at university okay i failed it the first time i took it because i assumed i could just coast through it <laughs> i didn't coast through it i thought i could cram for it so like the night before the final the next morning i went to university and grabbed cracked open the book and tried to learn the whole semester in overnight and that's what i used to do i used to i, li I like doing 
hardcore overnight sessions man that's a amazing space to be in as a student when you sit there all night pull all nighters learning something like you just immerse yourself in that topic right it, i i don't know if you guys have done it if you've gone to university most likely you have done it i i thrived on that i thrived on it it is brilliant right uh, but i couldn't do it for calculus and i retook it again um, when i transferred universities and it, again i didn't really fully understand it one of the reasons i had pretty crappy uh, profs but i read the book and all of a sudden it just clicked for me right and once you understand calculus it just is it's, it's the introduction of time into mathematics introduction of the rate of change into mathematics so what it is is just basically it, and that's the key to understanding calculus right understand what it is not how to do calculus but why you're doing it and what it is right so calculus is basically looking at functions not in a static form right not a static moment but looking at functions and how they change and trying to understand the rate of change of that function of that system right doing the calculus looking into the future right and extrapolating data from the past that's the first step in calculus and once you grasp that then you go into it with the right perspective i think right that's what made it click for me okay micro twist russia has a yep russia and iran pop up, up. Estagat, thanks, Manny G. I love math as a kid, but somewhere lost my way growing up. Now that I love learning again, I'm in, uh, intrigued. Awesome, Manny G. And by the way, what you're seeing is one of the things that I have to deal with with my students every year, right? I have parents that come to me when when I start working with them. They might be new students, or they might be students that I've worked with before, and a parent just drops this information they go oh, i don't understand it you know my kid used to love math and then they started going to school and then they hated math i'm like well that's by design the system the centralized indoctrination centers are doing that by design right so one of my jobs as an educator someone who teaches mathematics is to put the love back into mathematics right and i put out a video on this yeah, one of the first videos I put out, like one, of the, I think it was the second series I put out, uh, Love and Hate, uh, and it, it's it's an important video. Shout, let me let me find it for you guys, gang, because I I think it's just trying to show why this is. Uh, Let's see if this pops it up. There it is. It's on SensorTube. It should be on uh, Odyssey as well. But I'll link up the SensorTube link, right? And this is Chicho Full Beard of Chicho. I put this out in. When did I put this out? Jeez, when is the date on this? Uh, 2010? It doesn't even have the date for some reason. Weird. SensorTube is whack. All right. This is the video I put out regarding mathematics and love and hate, uh, and basically, um, you know what one of my first jobs is, and some and I went hard on that when that video that I put out, right? Uh, you know I've done it in ASMR format too, chill, depending on the perspective. I just wanted to get a point across, and that one just pounded, right? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And that's from the how to study series saturn i do the same thing i always uh cram it's the best way for the info to be fresh in my mind yeah but it does put it into short-term memory that's the problem with cramming right so cramming is okay thing to do because some courses you're taking because it's just a prerequisite you need to take it right it's mandatory to take it and if you're not interested in that field you can just cram put it in short-term memory vomit it out during a test and then let it go some of the other stuff you need to have an extended period of time looking at it for it to go into long-term memory right dice power my my buddy doesn't work like that if i didn't get uh, something done or learn 
by midnight, it was, <laughs> my body, oh, my body, uh, it wasn't getting done. Yeah, dice power. I know people like that too. They're like, no, if it's not, it's not in, <laughs> it's too late. I'm like, dude, just put it in. No, no, it's not going to work. Come on, let's, look at this. No, don't show it to me. I don't want to know. <laughs> funny and that's the key right we're all different that's the beauty of human beings that's the beauty of life we're all different if we're all the same we would have already gone extinct right that's why humanity should not participate in uh in a single experiment uh all of humanity because if that experiment doesn't work out the way some people thought uh that's it, that's an extinction event <laughs> right Heck yeah, thanks for Maddie G. Uh, suspicious you're a Joe, Joe Bean Bailey. Hello, Chicho. Hope you are well, brother. You are uh, familiar with augmented uh, matrices. Augmented matrices. Oh, God, matrices. Determinants and matrices. Um, I can't remember what augmented matrices are. Uh, J uh, Joseph. Okay. Uh, determinants and matrices I study at university. I actually taught myself. Um, I didn't. Uh, I taught myself. It was a prerequisite for an applied mathematics uh, multi-integral thing. I took a crazy course. Uh, so I taught derivative uh, determinants and matrices myself. And then later on, after I taught it myself, took that crazy course. I took determinants and matrices, and man, it was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. I I wouldn't know how to do it right now, to tell you the truth, because. I haven't done it for a couple of decades, more than that, three decades, right? Um, but uh, they're fun to do. They're fun to do. Estagat, thank you. It's very nice to listen to you. Awesome. Thank you for popping in, right? On Treasure, I love pulling all night nighters at uni, but was always a good idea the night before exams. Yeah. Yeah, always a good idea the night before exams. Right. And uh, all nighters, I do miss the student life, really. That is one thing that is absolutely brilliant, where you're just focused on one thing. First time chat. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. C7 Kujos. Welcome to our live stream. Joe Chicho. They are a set of paradoxes. So this is. Uh, Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum, bum. what was the paradox called Zeno's paradox I believe Zeno's paradox they are a set of paradoxes centered around how the concept of infinity doesn't work in the real world the first paradox can be imagined as holding your hands apart and then moving one hand towards the other until they clap from a mathematical point of view we can imagine this as halving the distance uh, between our hands then half it again and again and again if we divide a number by two it goes on to, for infinity yeah yeah uh, so Zeno's paradox I actually put out a video on this uh, what did I call it here let me see if I can find it might as well share this as well what did I call it I called it um, uh, infinity let's see I put out some stuff on infinity I like uh, I like the concept of infinity. Do, 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 do. Uh, cutting a line. What did I call it? Cutting a line in two. Breaking a line. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. Right. Oh, here it is. No, that's not it. Oh, come on. Hold on. Chicho Infinity is part of the Infinity series I put out. Uh, Oh wow, how come it's not popping up? Oh no, I spent this much time on it, I gotta find it. Chicho Infinity, doink, doink. Sorry gang, but this, since I started this, I need to track this baby down. It's on sensor tube. Um, oh, it's part of this series, okay. I should be able to find it from this one. Uh, -da -bum -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, did I even link it up? I didn't even link it up. Silly Chicho. Silly Chicho. Oh, come on. Uh, goes on forever until the end of time. 
my two infinities. Oh, I would be in this. Wow, this is the longest I haven't looked at the chat for a while. Doing, doing. Come on, do I have it here? Do I have it here? Math, trigonometry, math, math. Oh, dude. That's unfortunate. Wow. Sensor tube searching is crazy. Math. Nope, 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 no, no, nope, nope. Halfway, it must be halfway. Infinity, halfway, let's see. Halfway. Oh, there it is. Okay, check this out. So this is what you're talking about. That was hard to find. That was hard to find. I'm gonna go back to the chat gang. Achilles and the tortoise. Um, so when you clap your hands, we are completing an infinite process in a finite amount of time. But the last moment is not going halfway, so it can't be. So if we go halfway, if we just bring this one halfway, we go halfway, 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 halfway. We're never actually going to reach the point, right? It reaches a point where you have to break an atom to go the other half distance, right? But this is, I think, to me, this is when they finally clap, right? This is the, this is the sort of the same type of ending. Or you can think about it as beginning as a big bang. We don't know what happens in the last moment, right? How to study a good uh, series. Joe Chicho, Achilles and the tortoise is another one of the paradoxes. It states that Achilles shouldn't be able to overtake the tortoise in a race because as he gets closer, he is continually halving the distance. So he should never ca uh, catch the tortoise. But of course, in the real world, he would. He completes an infinite number of steps in an infinite amount of time, in a finite amount of time. Yeah, so it's the same concept. I didn't realize it was called Zeno's Paradox. Ronnie, agreed. I think people should become more comfortable living with different people around us. I think people just get caught up with wanting to be uh, accepted uh, that they have different uh accepting different opinions and views yeah i'll try today as you can tell by my last message i have just pulled an all-nighter did you <laughs> uncharted days <laughs> nice joseph brother i don't know if you tried this uh whiskey is called so banana whiskey it's very sweet and i recommend it okay plutonic plurist how are you doing mathematical greetings mathematical greetings to you as well Ronnie well it's because there's an infinite infinite infinity between two integers or even real numbers yeah within uh, zero and one there's an infinite number of real numbers yeah yeah so for example what uh, what Ronnie's talking about if we take the number here here's a here's a number line right Let's just go like this. Here's zero, here's one, here's two, right? Oops, two. How many numbers? And there's, there's different categories of numbers here. Let's do it better. Let's do let's talk about the real number set. Right? If you want to talk about the real number set here. Zero, one, two, three, and negative one, negative two, negative three. Right? And we've talked about this real number set. It's one of the first videos. It, literally video number three out of hundreds of videos i put out in mathematics it's the first video one of the first lessons i put out uh for mathematics back in 2007 when i started creating math videos right so it's crucial this is the foundation of as far as i'm concerned when we we're trying to learn math high school math anyway the beginning of mathematics is you have to understand what the real number set is number set right and it's basically human evolution right 
it's the real number set the history of mathematics or the way the rules of mathematics have developed right is basically human evolution a history of human evolution right so the first type of numbers that us human beings really began to grasp were integers or not integers sorry uh, natural numbers counting numbers one two three four five and we call these natural numbers right natural numbers and they're one two three so on and so forth right and then some dude in india defined the number zero and it was huge leap in human evolution it was like the discovery of fire right and apologies if i'm not reading the chat guy but it was like the dis discovery of fire for mathematics he defined the number zero and we started looking at how zero uh, works in mathematics right it has a major problem where we can't divide by zero the universe explodes but it has a major power because if we set it equal to zero set an equation equal to zero we can factor equations have things multiply together to give you zero that means we can split them up into equaling zero so we can solve for equations that way so it made solving for equations way way easier right and because of that we call it a new category subset or a superset right and we call it the whole number set because it includes the natural numbers but as well as zero right human evolution we learned something new and then later on i forget who came up or where they defined integers right we started working with integers which is basically positive and negative whole numbers right negative two negative one zero one two dot 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 and again this was a leap in evolution right it's, this is like discovering the wheel right when people say what are some of the greatest uh greatest uh discoveries innovations in human history you know people go oh the computer sure the computer was they go uh this this but people don't realize that two of the major discoveries in human evolution that you know gave birth to our present civilization or humanity really was fire and the wheel all right those are two of the greatest discoveries in human history okay or prehistory right so integers are positive and negative whole numbers and again these had benefits and problems right the problem was you couldn't at the time you couldn't take the even root of a negative number and they call those imaginary numbers hundreds of years later they find out wow we should call them complex numbers because the mathematics revealed something about the world to us that we didn't know existed and we didn't understand at the time we called it imaginary because we thought it was a byproduct of mathematics the algebra and then later on hundreds of years later you find out oh my god this is in life this is something that exists in the world we just didn't know how to interact with it right and that is happening right now at the moment right in mathematics right now there are people working on things and mathematics is revealing something to us and the mathematicians scientists they don't know what that is right what is this thing that's being revealed to us is this part of life and from history yeah we know it's part of life it exists we just don't know how to read it interact with it but the mathematics is revealing it to us right that's what integers did okay and then above this you have what's called rational numbers right rational numbers and usually you define this with q in my part of the world right and rational numbers are any numbers that you can write as fractions of integers right so the definition of this is fractions of integers fractions of integers integers okay they usually define tell people in my part of the world county the united states that these are numbers that you that either end or repeat and i hate that definition the reason i don't like that definition because it's not the definition that's what these numbers are but the definition should be numbers that you can write as fractions of integers that allows students to get a better grasp of fractions right not just decimals right so once you can you can manage fractions you basically rule your own world right you powered up right and with mathematics for everything you do you can undo with mathematics for things that are operations that are there are operations that are negate that operation right and in this case if we have a set of numbers that are, that are defined as numbers that you can write as fractions of integers well guess what there are a set of numbers 
that you cannot write as fractions of integers, right? And these are called irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. numbers. And these are, it's defined as Q with a line up top. In mathematics, you put a line on top of a letter, usually means not that, right? So if Q means rational, this means not rational, right? And these are numbers that you cannot, can not define, not define, not cannot write as fraction of integers. Write, write as fraction of integers. Pi is one, square root of two is another, square root of any prime number, prime numbers rules this, right? But for what Joe was saying, right? Zeno's paradox, there's an infinite number of numbers between zero and one, right? But let's look at this from the base up, go through it from human evolution, right? If I was to ask the question, how many natural numbers are there between negative three and three, right? So how many, how many natural numbers between B, B to win. Okay, B to win. Oh my God. I'm just going to go like this. Natural numbers between, doop, between negative three to three. Well, the answer is natural numbers are counting numbers. One, two, three. It doesn't include zero or negative numbers, right? Or fractions. So there are actually only one, two, three natural numbers between negative three and three. So the answer to this is three. And then you can ask the same question. How many whole numbers? How many whole numbers? Whole numbers are there between negative three and three? Well, whole numbers is a new category that define the number zero. So zero is included in this. So we got four whole numbers, right? Four whole numbers between negative three and three. You can continue this. Right? How many integers uh, between negative three and three? Well, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven integers between negative three and three. And then you go into rational numbers. How many rational numbers are there between negative three and three? How many rational numbers between negative three and three and the answer to that is infinite 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 right why is it infinite for example let's say because rational numbers are numbers that you can write as fractions of integers right so there's one over two here yeah that's a rational number cool there's one over four here one over four, and you can continue this. Just in this zone, right? There's infinite number of rational numbers. Between any two rational numbers, there is an infinite number of rational numbers. So if we take this area, let's zoom it out, right? Let's say this line here is one over 32, okay? And this line here would be one over uh, 16 right? One sixteenth. Well, there's infinite number of numbers here, infinite number, infinite number. Between all these two numbers, there's an infinite number of numbers, right? So huge leap in human evolution from integers to rational numbers. Computers, maybe? Human technology, right? Comparison, I don't know, right? And then you go into irrational numbers and you go, okay, how many irrational numbers are there between negative three and three how many irrational rational numbers between negative three and three that's also infinite there's an infinite number of irrational numbers between these things why is there an infinite number of irrational numbers because for every one of these things if you think about it there is an extra number that is not part of the rational number set because it could be the square root of that number right so for example over here let's say we had one third right one over three well that's a rational number that exists there right and there's an infinite number between zero and 
one third. But then there's an additional set of numbers that are not part of rational numbers, such as one over the square root of three. Now that's an irrational number because it's the square root of a prime number, right? But you can't put it into the rational category. You have to put an irrational category. Huge leap forward again, right? So it just grows from there, right? Mathematics is based on some of the most simple concepts you will ever encounter in your life. And as you analyze what they tell you, as you start working with them, just like any tool that you learn how to use, right? If you're new to using a hammer, the only thing you're going to do is, at best, put nails in wood, right? And probably bang your thumb a few times. But as you become a carpenter, you use your tool more and more you start doing a lot more with hammers than just putting nails in the wall right and that goes with every tool including mathematics okay um sort of went off on that one but i, I thought it was worth recapping the base of what math is and where this begins and where it can take us right apologies if i missed the chat i'm assuming this is there was some stuff that was popping up that I wasn't catching. Oh, Elder God, you got it. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it this one? Yeah, yeah. It was that one. Nice. Thank you. I had it four minutes ago. But wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Plutonic pillars. There's also a, a physical theory that things never really meet. Yeah. And it's, uh, what do you call it? It's It goes into the forces, right? the strong and weak nuclear forces and stuff elga chicho does a flash speed moment joe chicho so does it mean that we can't think of the universe as being continuous it can't be split into infinite infinitely small parts no i think it can be i, th I think that's actually the way we should look at it joe so for example black holes right so Black holes, people think of black holes as being the largest objects in the universe, right? One of the largest objects in the universe, okay? Or one of the objects that give rise to the biggest objects in the universe, which could be galaxies or clusters of galaxies, I guess that would be it, right? I think clusters of galaxies, super galaxies is one of the largest. But the center of galaxies is believed to be, many galaxies is to be large black holes, right? So people tend to think of black holes as being these large things. But I believe, and I looked at this a long time ago, we do get mini black holes, right? So there are mini black holes. And I believe, if I recall correctly, reading this stuff like 15, 20 years ago, some of those mini black holes are, you can't distinguish from elementary particles. And some people say some of those mini black holes could be the elementary particles, right? So white holes to a certain degree, okay? So black holes, I've got to go back to my memory. Um, there's, I believe, three distinct characteristics, uh, features of black hole that uh, you can categorize black holes in. One of them is the spin, one of them is the charge, and the other one is the uh, spin, charge, and rotation. No, spin is the rotation. Um, oscillation something like that and those three properties or four properties are identical to the properties of elementary particles so if you give those properties to someone you would that person could would have to know if you're talking about a black hole or an elementary particle this stuff is so damn cool so so cool um, so it, it, it's it, it's worth exploring uh, I haven't explored it for a long time, but uh, it still excites me when I talk about it, right? Or when I think about it. Plutonic pluris, there's also a number file on it. Infinities in general are philosophical and mathematical open ground. Yeah, I like set theory and Cantor S work. And there's an amazing documentary on uh, infinity. Uh, uh, forbidden knowledge or unlawful knowledge or something it's a it's a documentary that a mathematician made uh, in honor of three of his um, heroes that were mathematicians that uh, the thought of infinity uh, 
destroyed their minds two of them went insane and one of them committed suicide an amazing documentary my first encounter brilliant video oh, from number file yeah number file does amazing work Elegot 24 September 20 uh, 2007 first math video I watched it this morning ah awesome elder God <laughs> those were fun man wow crazy times crazy times Elder God Bruce Lee 1947 thank you for the follow ah thank you for the follow Bruce Lee 1947 apologies if I'm not catching the follows gang uh, when I go off on rants like this it's very uh, it throws me off rails if I try to either read the chat and i do sometimes and it does throw me off sometimes or try to get catch the names of people uh following or subbing so i do appreciate the support gang thank you for that uh plutonic plurus is it a fractal pullover chicho is it a fractal pullover uh i don't i'm not sure what you mean by pullover and fractal what part of it joseph for some reason twitch is uh tagging plutonic pluralist and uh, joseph is uh, comments joseph uh, plutonic still but joseph as well as uh, a suspicious user or something but i'm going to read it because i don't trust the automat thing right uh uh chicho do you own any old books for example from earlier centuries an old friend of mine used to have a massive collection of literature from the renaissance period in italian even no no i don't own any books that are more than 100 years old from the previous century well previous century i do own a lot of books from the 1990s that's our previous century but nothing from the 1800s nothing from the 1800s i wish if i ever generated enough funds that is one place i would definitely invest money in right five hello first time chat c c s ouch 71 how can one find create irrational numbers uh take a root of a uh, even root or any root of a prime number any root of a prime number is an irrational number okay mass spin okay there it is uh elegal thank you mass that's the one i was missing mass spin and electric charge right so you can give those three properties say this entity weighs and make them small because it could be mini black holes right this much it has this spin and it has this electric charge and the person could not tell you if that was supposed to be an elementary particle or a black hole right you would have to define it cheryl how are you doing happy monday happy math day nice <laughs> happy math monday also gamer nerd hey just want to say sorry for going uh off on you yesterday i uh, just was stressed yesterday when i joined no worries uh, uh gamer nerd it's all good brother and you're allowed to go off really no worries with that if unless you're spamming or trolling it, it's it's all good really um uh, and you didn't go off as far as I'm concerned uh, maybe I went off I went hard ass right and this was uh, for anyone watching this video is loaded on sensor tube uh, here if you're watching this video on the sensor tube uh, what gamer nerd is talking about is some of the discussion we had on current events that we did yesterday but that video could not be loaded on sensor tube because sensor tube does does not allow such discussions to be taken place so you can watch that video on bit shoot rumble or odyssey okay Boop. Uh, joe chicho there's a speculative idea called digital physics where we imagine the fundamental basis of the universe as information and the universe is divided into a finite grid so where we imagine the fundamental basis of the universe as information which it is right and the universe is divided into finite grid into a finite grid so basically call it integers right into a finite well integers are infinite so i guess uh within a certain limit within the boundaries of the universe into a finite grid okay 
this must continue what's that called speculative idea joe not about joseph some of the mathematical literature uh, from the 14th century is beautiful the knowledge of math at that time was truly ahead of its time the ways uh, they used math to construct complex things yeah yeah i looked at some of that stuff by the way joseph i looked at some of that stuff uh, some of it uh, a long time ago uh, and mathematics used to be you know all these symbols of math that we have right now didn't exist centuries ago right they used words to prove things and write equations and talk about the universe and solve equations right um some of it was crazy like amazing like just imagine gang if you had no access to a library of books right because books were very difficult to print they're very difficult to come by right there was a time where people were trying to collect all the books in the world right before the printing press came along right and they had to stop all those collectors had to stop because the printing press was able to mass produce books and a lot of books started coming out and you couldn't collect all the books in the world anymore right but you start looking at some of that literature uh, from centuries ago and you realize that just imagine if you didn't have a stereo you couldn't play music you had to go listen to music live only right you didn't have television you didn't have electricity okay you didn't have the internet you didn't have movie theater you didn't have all these distractions in life right or entertainments in life what would you do right to occupy the mind well there were people that really just went ballistic on the sciences and mathematics right and they let their imaginations run wild and started doing a lot of math and pulling in different ideas together and came up really laid the foundation of our present civilization okay amazing stuff amazing stuff right free speech is uh is central to chicho's thinking indeed free speech is it gang right platonic plurus the question of whether the universe space is discrete finite or theoretically infinite is interesting um for me what i find what i'm curious about is what's beyond the boundaries of the visible universe right or the universe we can interact with right if the universe began from a black hole not a black well let's say white hole black hole somewhere else white hole spewing out right from the big bang right and it's expanding what was outside of the space that is being created what are we creating the space in aside from that the universe inside i think it, it is you can keep on breaking it down into smaller smaller pieces but to me it does have a bound to it um first time chat laugh out loud laugh out loud so do dexter this is an unrelated question but what age could you grow a big beard like this um for me by my late teens i could grow a large beard um not as full as i can now or or i you know i i was able to grow in the early 20s so by late teens early 20s just my genetics allowed me to do this uh, and i'm grateful for it <laughs> those periods where beards facial hair was a no-no people were like oh facial hair i was like man you guys don't know where it's at All right joe chicho it's known as digital physics we imagine the universe as a vast digital computation device or as the output of a deterministic or probabilistic computer program cool this is the thing that people lay the foundation for we live in a in a vr right in virtual reality joe plutonic polaris i somehow doubt pure information universe or simulation but i guess there is a physical end in the sizes strings are uh maybe too small already well there is supposed to be um, large strings if we're talking about string theory string theory is not just about there's little subatomic size strings if you want to think of even 
smaller in some atomic size. I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I read Brian Greene's uh, Elegant Universe like 20 years ago. Um, but I believe there are larger strings hypothesized, right? If that's what we're talking about, Joseph, you know what I, what man, I believe there's going to come a day where as a race, we'll have no choice but to go backwards. I'm a young guy, 24, maybe even in my lifetime, really go backwards in time. The, I wouldn't call it devolve, but uh, just go backwards in time. I don't know. I don't know. Because if are you connecting up with an expanding universe and then collapsing? And that is a theory that's been around, right? Well, someone I forget what the iteration is. Someone said that this we're in the 15th iteration of this universe expanding and then collapsing in itself and then expanding and collapsing in itself. Maybe during the collapse period, we go backwards in time, which would be cool, sort of weird. Ginger, sugar coated ginger. Padre, 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 how are you doing? Padre says, I think the universe is expanding back into itself. Expanding back into itself. Tor tortoise, what's it called? Or collapsing into itself. Beer power, beer power. A strong goatee. <laughs> goatee can make you a god. The elder god says, hilarious. Joe Chicho, if the universe is a computer simulation, wouldn't it have to be finite in size, both in how big it can be and how small? Uh, the computer itself, yeah, but the universe it creates, if it's VR, it could be infinite, right? It could just pause, just be growing. And the way it would grow is all you have to do is reach out to the edge of the universe and the universe will expand again, right? As long as you had uh, unlimited computing uh, capacity, right? Like those games that you play when you're walking around and the map reveals itself as, as you push the boundary of the map, right? The universe could be one of those things, which would be super cool. Black holes are generally terrifying though. <laughs> Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? <laughs> Lonely Piggy, ginger, sugar coated ginger. Super delicious. I got the, I'm, I'm having a serious snack on these things. Very yummy. Cheryl, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to our Monday. Uh, Plutonic point, yeah, Mo Mobius band, yeah, Mobius band, yeah, Mobius band, super cool. Cheryl, I was thinking that uh, Joseph meant backwards in tech ability. Oh, is that what he meant, Pedro? Yes, like a tor tor Taurus, like a Taurus, Mobius band or Taurus? It's called Taurus, right? Which one's a Mobius band then? Mobius band goes like this like a Taurus to a certain degree right no Taurus is the inside out yeah no Taurus Mobius band is the other guy that would be super cool Padre that would be super cool and crystallized ginger yeah sure I'll love it love it love it like fantastic that your mouth feels amazing amazing when you eat like crystallized ginger so good and then drink tea like oh yeah joseph uh, this tech evolved us and it will be the end of us <laughs> possibly <laughs> possibly laugh laugh out loud sup procedural generations procedural generation i'm not sure what that means um joseph yeah cheryl i was referring to something along those lines da, 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 da. backwards and tech ability backwards and tech okay so we're, we're moving backwards and tech are we i don't know i don't know thank you for the follows gang by the way i think i'm missing some of them uh 
because it pops up here for me but i'm reading the chat over here i know you guys see the chat over here but it pops up here uh, plutonic blurus the question of something out of nothing or something from something uh, that's the ultimate question right and if it's something from something then what was that something right Allah God I assumed you meant return to Amish kind of existence Amish kind of existence to Joseph Joe Chicho not really mathematics but I've been learning a lot about um, evolution recently one of my favorite subjects along with genetics yeah evolution is interesting I, I looked at it a long time ago and as geophysicists we took paleontology and geochemistry and stuff like this um, th there's lots of cool stuff there right with evolution one of the main problems or assumptions in paleontology and geology and just our science right now um, is that it's based on one one of the core theories assumptions that it has is the law of uniformitalism you know, I never I was never able to pronounce this correctly unless I see the word law of uni uniformitalism which basically states that the rate of change that is occurring at the present uh, was the rate of change that was occurring in the past ie time the rate at which time changes right moves forward is the same rate uh, that time was moving forward in the past right so one second now was equivalent to one second in the past and that's a pretty big assumption that's a pretty big assumption as, as far as i was concerned a lot of the professors and books and people i talked to when i brought up this problem that i had with this huge assumption was that of course it does right of course the rate of change is the same uh, was the same in the past as it, as it is now but to me that is not an of course uh, thing right because your rate of rate of change time can vary uh, based on the forces of gravity that you're under as well as acceleration so if you vary the acceleration and or the mass of the universe or your surrounding then the rate of change right time will vary for you relative to someone else that's not around that field right so to me that assumption in uh, paleontology in geology in sciences in general is a huge assumption is a huge assumption okay that's why I really don't dismiss many theories about the origins of life and the universe and humanity and stuff like this. Right? First time chat. Uh, Kzers. Uh, wow, what a name. K Y Z E R X R S Z. Kaiser. 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 I don't understand math very well, but want to learn now. Awesome, Kaiser um it takes time it's an important language uh, and if you don't understand math start from here the real number set okay and i have a video out there talking about the real number set that relates it to sheep herding 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 sheep sheep herders in a village i i would say start with the real number set understand how to deal with fractions which are rational numbers okay and then understand how to move around an equal sign get into the space where you can move around an equal sign and once you understand that then you can delve into functions because functions are just equal signs with two variables minimum two variables in them actually one variable i guess you could have it but let's call it two variables right x and a y um, that sort of try to uh, uh, are used to understand systems right joseph l to elder god if i could grow a beard i would fit in um brother unfortunately still rocking the three three baby hairs on my chin oh no <laughs> math can be fun indeed padre yeah can't i yeah i can't prove it though i just think it 
attempts to answer the question of what we are expanding into that's a great question what are we expanding into where crazy questions love these questions right astronomy was one of the things i wanted to go into i was initially actually went into the realm of geophysics uh, i started studying geophysics because i wanted to get into astronomy and then i went into environmental geophysics uh, i like the hands-on part of it joseph uh, that's what you get from being australian no beard ah really austrian not australian austrian austrian you guys don't grow uh, good beards really i didn't know that and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor tube platonic polaris people uh, Peter Thiel has the theory that we besides some uh, islands are in a stagnant phase of technological development possibly I think we're about to see a major uh, major evolution major uh, discoveries or release of technologies into our society I hope so anyway uh, Chicho, can you believe can you believe in life from flashes and energy bursts with chemistry can you believe in life or can you create life you mean can you create life from flashes and energy bursts with chemistry i don't know what uh platonic polaris that didn't make sense to me da, 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 da. in geology kata catastrophism versus uniformism yeah to a certain degree i remember those two phrases uh, joseph full head of hair with no beard versus full beard with no hair opinions even though we're all unique and amazing ah uh, it varies i wouldn't want a full set of hair now really i used to have a huge i was a headbanger right long long ass hair curly long ass hair right uh, and usually always had a must uh, either mustache goatee beard or whatever right but i wouldn't grow long hair again if i could which i can't uh on the head anyway uh, i like the slick look i like the slick look padre hmm i think the brakes had to uh had to had to be pumped a little bit once we created the atomic bomb we got a little scared when we realized we could blow ourselves up the influx of media and just noise in general could be a distraction in order for us to catch up to the technology possibly and i agree and one of the most frightening things right now uh, in terms of technology is and it, it's it's being it's ridiculous we need to seriously put brakes on it is all this gene therapy and manipulation of genes and uh creating frankenstein frankenstein science we're messing with uh the core building blocks of nature and we have no idea zero idea what the long mid even short short mid or long term uh implications uh of this thing are so there's a lot of mad scientists right now going trust us well i've been around scientists all my life and man I don't trust 80 percent of those scientists they're they don't know their assumptions are crap their conclusions are crap their data collection is crap uh scientists are just like human beings some of them do good work some of them do bad work if you're building a house right uh thank you very much for the sub uh, mojo tab sanchez uh if you're building a house you can't just hire any plumber and any electrician to build to put the plumbing and electrical electricity in there right you want to get the best okay just like any trade there are good tradesmen there are bad tradesmen in science as well there are good scientists there are bad scientists when people blindly close their eyes and say the science says this and i turned to them and said whose science are you looking at whose data are you looking at the science doesn't say shit you have to look at all the 
all the information and the debate and the discussion and realize that science evolves over time as we acquire more data okay that's the whole that, that's that's one of the problems with our collapsing centralized indoctrination centers and why people need to be literate in the language of mathematics is because they're treating science as a religion now which is insane which is crazy have faith in the science have faith in what what are you talking about have faith in the science that those two words faith and science should never be spoken in the same sentence right crazy Cheryl I get why it's required for this uh, discussion otherwise it would be impossible to have rational discussions there would always be that one guy tossing in some extreme examples that wasn't replied something else but it feels a little uh, silly as an absolute dun, 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 dun. Evolution. Dun, dun. oh let's check this out what does that say bum, bum, bum. Uh, Nox, we, I'm balding with no beard growth whatsoever. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, by the way, I started balding when I was like, I started losing hair when I was 17. So don't worry too much about it, gang. Uh, because at the time, I couldn't grow a full beard, 16, 17, and slowly it kicked in. So there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. It's uh, Joe Chicho I was thinking about evolution and how it relates to AI if we do create an AI I think it will come about by evolution and not and natural selection and we will lose our ability to understand how it works long before it becomes human level I think it will be uh, it will be too complicated for us to engineer it ourselves and it needs to evolve on its own here's here's an example Joe I'm gonna keep on reading your your comment here uh, that's how uh, neural networks are trained already and even basic neural networks are too complicated for us to understand when the first AI beat the world go champion back in 2015 it was making decisions that even its creators couldn't understand yeah and here's here's an example Joe there's an economist uh, sort of commentator that I follow and you, you if you've been around you know uh, this person is Martin Armstrong right and he's written code that's like he created this software this code right AI he calls it he goes he, he mentions he refers to it as the true uh, the only true AI out there right now right that but he came up with this code that predicts economic activity global economic activity uh, 40 years ago he put this code together right he got into computer science in the 60s and stuff like this and blah 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 in the 1980s he had this program and it's been evolving ever since right and Martin Armstrong is the most accurate um, let's say he is the most accurate predictor of global economic events that I've ever come across he's bang on on his analysis but he will state this always he's not doing in the analysis his program his AI is doing the analysis and he doesn't understand how the AI comes up with some of the conclusions that the AI comes up with because he thinks that would never happen and they end up happening so he's um, he's come out and said that he doesn't understand what his program is doing but his program track record is so phenomenal that you can only look at the information coming out and say okay that's what is predicting and more often than not way more often than not it is extremely accurate even to the day of those predictions so I tend to agree AI and I don't think it's going to be uh, absolute AI with consciousness I think it's AI in terms of AI analyzing certain uh, that are that is designed for right designed to be operating and analyzing a certain system right may it be for Martin Armstrong an economic system uh, geopolitical economic systems right it doesn't have the ability to get into the concept of love and 
um, or uh, art, uh, aside from the value of art, the economic aspect of it, right? So I don't think we're uh, anywhere close to uh, conscious AI, but I think we do have programs out there, machine learning programs out there that can understand system and predict uh, certain events for certain systems way better than we can without a doubt without a doubt right that's why there are multiple programs running out there that people have written code where they do stock trading automated stock trading but as martin armstrong would say that all works fine and dandy until there's a liquidity crisis and the whole thing goes Poof. right joe has beard though Ch -ch -ch. lonely piggy i'm growing my hair out right now but it's so thick whenever i wash it i end up with an afro vibe when it tries nice the afro vibe is great brother where are we at where are we at oh, i'm missing some chat that's the same we that's how natural joe just the same we it took billions of years of evolution for our brains to develop i don't think we are anywhere near smart enough to create a human level ai all by ourselves it will need to evolve somewhat yeah yeah for sure we're nowhere near it padre sorry bro i typed this out on my phone so i miss some words sometimes no worries padre gene therapy has opened up pandora's box and it will be chaotic i agree well, i'm 100 with padre this gene therapy gene editing stuff is very problematic very problematic we're on the same level we're in the same space that we are right now or we were during the atomic age when uh, the atomic age rolled out i think when it's all said and done in 20 years we're going to have treaties between nations hardcore treaties punishable by uh, enforceable by serious punishments uh, between nations regarding gene editing and gene theory and what can and cannot be done because we've unleashed some nasty shit in our societies in the natural environment right platonic pillars ai may accelerate everything but it could also still be more marketing than substance it's interesting indeed right now it's mainly marketing all these people a we are ai ai they're not ai they're programs written by somebody and they have serious problems with those programs hell oh god gender confusion needs to be addressed Ronnie, all these professionals aren't capable to do good, uh, good thorough jobs. The processes aren't good to even allow good scientists to do good jobs. Yeah, I agree with you in large part. And then they don't even debate good scientists, right? When a scientist just, uh, says that, trust my word because I am science and I refuse to debate any other scientist, that's a cult leader. It's not a scientist. wokeism has to be defeated i'm gonna skip uh what do you call it the political stuff gang first time chat moj taba sanchez oh yeah you did the sub thank you very much for the follow thank you very much for follow you really remind me of search tank of system of down band such a cool guy haha <laughs> thanks i'm a cool guy i don't know about search though but i do i did go off on uh, system of down a lot if you do a search for chicho system of down review uh go to duck duck go just do a search for chicho system of a down review i wrote an article uh, a review of their music back in 2006 i believe and it's a phenomenal review of system of downs uh, music uh it's awesome and i've been to two of their shows concerts by the way i'm 30 nox i'm 36 now though so i don't think uh Oh no, you can't grow beer at 36. Mm. The genetics might be a little uh, different. Uh, not conducive to growing huge beards. Padre, as far as hair beers go, you got to work with what you got. Indeed. Yeah, play the cards you're dealt, gang. That's what it is, right? Ronnie, a lot of science is judgment based. It's uh it's funny how we were taught science and math are irrefutable and yet when we incorporate randomness due to whatever reason lack of data etc it becomes judgment based and it stops being science yeah and here's the thing 
there's a huge difference between science and mathematics math is a language syntax it's it's not it's not a thing for debating if two plus two is equal to four you can sort of define it are you talking about vector system vectors or scalars right and that changes the answer to a certain degree right but there's limitations on it okay mathematics is a hardcore language it's syntax based it's not a faith system there aren't too many assumptions in it aside from the five axioms i was built on and that's it math is just math uh it, it's not it's not an opinion mathematics science uses the language of mathematics to look at the world around us and a lot of science has a lot of assumptions and there's a lot of falsy data and a lot of science being presented and there's a lot of politics and economics in science being presented right now so science uh when you're conducting science you really have to look at that scientific research with a fine toothpick to make sure that it's not uh propaganda or a sales pitch okay plutonic from chicho i meant do you think that life began by energy meeting chemicals uh and an organic chemistry becoming organic ah good question so do i think life began when energy uh began by energy meeting chemicals uh or an organic chemistry becoming organic and organic so basically energy hitting a bunch of chemicals uh, free free floating ions or molecules or whatever you want to call it so basically if life began when spark engaged chemicals right so you bring energy together with matter and you put it together and you beget life don't know don't know right are you is for me i all i know is i am not just this matter that i occupy so there is spark there right so our brains are just electrical electricity going off right that's the way we communicate that's the way we understand that's what makes us alive right your heart is pounding right um if you take that energy away this matter will not move right i won't be animated because the life is gone is what is energy removed from matter life would be one way we would have to ask this question we know that matter without energy is not life right like for example this is matter it's chemicals really but it doesn't it's not alive right so this does not have life right me i am matter and there are sparks there's energy here so i am life now the question is if you remove these sparks this energy from this matter is it still life or is the energy just energy just like this is matter right so to have life do we have to have a merging of energy and matter good question i guess the way to answer that question is for us to find out if energy is life and if we ever come across energy beings that are just pure energy but they're conscious then that would answer our question really right and it would be energy is really the life animating the matter sort of rationalizing, rationalizing my way through that right cool thought though i love the thought oh i'm missing a lot of chat Mojo Taba, same here, and already becoming bald. Pa, pa, pa. Same here, Papa, 19. Ta, ta. Yeah, 19. I started losing my hair when I was yeah, 17, 18, 19. It was traumatic at the time. For someone with a headbanger, long hair, listening to metal music, going to metal shows and stuff like this. It was like, oh, crap. What do I do? 
Well, nothing. Grow a long ass beard. <laughs> it's genetic on your mother's side. Is it genetic on mother's side? Growing hair? If mother's dad is bald, it's quite likely it will be. Yeah, yeah. I I found that one out a uh, long time ago. Ronnie, it's probably who it comes from. Could be mom or dad. Hair, hair, hair. Platonic pluralist. Will quantum computing make a general difference quantum leap or just in some special case areas or will binary still rule uh, in our world binary rules right now quantum computing I think we're way off from quantum computing uh, I you know people are saying yeah we already have quantum computing um, I don't think we're, we're there yet uh, but again I'm not a specialist uh, I'm not up to date with all the most recent stuff I just read some of the information coming out right Knox. That's who probably works. <laughs> one thing, one thing I realized going on these live streams and making these videos, I realized how much people love facial hair and the hair in general. How much hair discussion there is, which is fantastic. There's a lot of beard discussion on the chat. That's cool, Ronnie. You said it's your mother, uh, like it's certain if you want to be as as, uh, as smart as with uh some other da, 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 da. okay they're going off on this thing really gonna blah, 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 blah. chicho the hair stream chicho hair stream hell the god says hair and life <laughs> why not <laughs> hilarious oh man we're coming close to the end of the stream wow <laughs> hilarious <laughs> Joe Chicho, there's a documentary series on Netflix called Unnatural Selection. Very fascinating. It follows a number of genetic engineering projects, including a child receiving gene therapy to prevent uh, degenerative eye disorder, someone receiving gene therapy for uh, paralysis, a scientist who releases genetically engineered mice on an island in New York in New England to get rid of mosquitoes oh my god and someone genetically engineering animals in his garden highly recommended wow some of that sounds like mad scientists like any scientist that genetically engineers an animal and releases it into nature should be arrested and put in jail uh, their research should be should be scrutinized should be looked at and for us to figure out what this scientist just did okay because doing something like that is so irresponsible it's beyond belief it's beyond belief and just imagine trying to kill off the mosquitoes with mice and mosquitoes one of the most important uh, animals in the biosystem right insanity that to me sounds like a mad scientist that should not be allowed to practice science okay ronnie i mean that type, because check this out this is an isle, island as if the island uh is an island of its own that from that island nothing from that island can go anywhere else right uh, crazy crazy to me ronnie I'm in that type of practical side of math. I work in insurance and use math to assess risk. It doesn't feel like math anymore. Yeah, it's just language that you're using to decipher the world. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Mojtaba Sanchez, that's amazing. At first look, I guess you must be related to search. What kind of Armenian face style? <laughs> I know. Yeah, we're both Armenian, right? We're both Armenian. And I used to know almost all the lyrics to all of System of Down's music, by the way. Uh, I loved it. I love it. Right. Hello, mate. RJM Players. First time chat. Hello, hello. How are you doing? And welcome to our live stream. Hello, God. This body is only a shell. You cannot touch me. You cannot harm me. I am not afraid. Nice. Who said that? My soul is me, not my flesh. Nice. Or simply put, 
hair today, hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Hilarious, elder god. Joe Chicho, I can't remember whether it was to kill the mosquitoes or make them immune to something. Uh, apparently, there is an issue with mosquitoes in New England, uh, with mosquitoes infecting people with something innocurable. It was to prevent uh, that somehow. Yeah, but releasing into the wild uh, genetically modified rodents, and rodents are breed like mad. Rodents will be around way longer than human beings will be around this planet. I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. Cheryl, I am a mosquito magnet. Haha, <laughs> I suffer as a result, but still only support extreme cold and getting rid of uh, standing water as prevention. Yeah, uh, scary stuff done for human comfort. Indeed, Cheryl, I agree. And Cheryl, one of the other things you can do to uh, get mosquitoes not, not to bite you or suck your blood <laughs> right is uh i don't recommend this but have smoke around you right when we used to go to geophysics when we did the field work a lot and stuff there are times where i took cigars with me to areas where they might have been a lot of mosquito activity and you light up a cigar now you got to be careful in the in nature and stuff like this but when there's mosquitoes around usually the area is in general moistish right uh, mosquitoes love water uh, standing water anyway so if you wanted to get a little relief from mosquito bites uh, you light up a c cigar uh, my partner some of the people at geophysics I went to they would s smoke cigarettes I don't like cigarettes uh, so I would light up a cigar and smoke cigars and the mosquitoes would not come around uh, not as many anyway platonic pluris I refuse to accept that da -da -da -da. Point nine 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 is equal to one. It's not. <laughs> Joe, Chicho, the guy with the animals in the backyard was using a generic engineering kit that you can buy online. Are you serious? No, dude, I didn't know this. I got a lot. I got to check out this documentary. Yikes! Oh my god, I'm really trying not to talk politics. The Munich Security Conference is making me mad. mad. Oh, but we talk politics, current events, two days, three days from now. Uh, so and the and uh, personal finance, we can definitely talk about some of that stuff too. Sanchez, wow, you're an Armenian too. So cool, so cool. <laughs> but if <laughs> funny, here in Europe we have uh, so talk for us. Here in Europe we have windy days currently. I like it. It's relatively harmless in wind uh, velocities mostly. Yeah, yeah. wind is one of the best things you can have to uh, not get mosquitoes. Uh, Joe, oh, Lyme disease. The mice with Lyme disease. And here's a kicker with Lyme disease. Lyme disease was m mainly uh, an engineered uh, disease, right, from the military, U.S. military. I looked into this before, actually. 99% sure Lyme disease came from an island. Was it the same island? Uh, it was a military biological weapon project that was released. Zahark, 94, first time chat. Coconut oil helps to keep them away. Oh, really? Coconut oil uh, helps keep mosquitoes away? Very cool, very cool. Sithberry, I tend to think the best thing humans can do for Earth is leave, <laughs> which is why we need heavy investment in space tech. The problem with that is you're uh, militar militarizing space. Uh, even Elon Musk's stuff is militarization, right? Cheryl, yeah, that's ticks. Lime is awful. Been there, done that. Ticks are a huge issue too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had Lyme too, Ronnie. Yeah, I've known uh, other people that have li that had, that had Lyme. Some people, it's devastating, right? Some people, it's devastating. And it takes a few years to come out of it. You need to do hardcore anti... From what I understand, this is not medical advice. You need to do hardcore antibiotic treatment. You need to cleanse yourself. You, you need to do a lot of things. You need to do a lot of things. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Your resonance, how are you doing? When are we talking about stocks and uh, options? Um, we're doing it this week. Go to my uh, Patreon page. Go to the Patreon page uh, and the pinned comment 
uh, right now, the pin post right now is our schedule for this week. We had a current events uh, live stream yesterday. This is our mathematics. We got uh, five more streams coming up. I think tomorrow we do a comic book reading and then we do personal finance. I can't remember. Uh, but look, look on the Patreon page uh, and the list is there. And it's on our Discord in the schedule folder. Okay. So we are doing personal finance and we can talk about options. And we did talk about options, by the way, we did a personal finance. We did talk about options. Are we in for a market crash if Russia invades Ukraine? I don't think Russia is going to invade Ukraine and we're in for a market crash no matter what. <laughs> Sanchez, by the way, I'm from, by the way, it's, um, it depends. The things might go up there. You, you have, you can play long and short so don't get don't get me wrong on this sanchez by the way i'm from north of iran ah no way second year of software engineering struggling with math same as many of us you're from north of iran what are you talking about iranian math is powerful man i was born in tehran by the way salam alaikum westin uh i'm armenian from iran so sanchez uh, but your math should be ridiculously powerful right but if you're in second year of engineering um uh, yeah the university math kicks up right so they catch up at university to iran uh, but the foundation the high school is crazy so powerful in iran uh cheryl to ronnie oh man i'm sorry to hear it i know i was fortunate that i tested positive tens of tons of friends who work in the field have had have joint symptoms etc and some docs won't treat them just in case tons yeah yeah it's crazy uh, i've known some people with uh, Lyme. Uh, it could be debil debilitating big time platonic for chicho we could have a great high astan stream <laughs> somewhere somewhere with armenian culture cooking jokes well i've done some armenian cooking i've done some armenian cooking and we've done uh, backgammon live streams that's huge armenian i played i did live streams couple live streams i think anyway no i put videos out playing backgammon with grandma and did a live stream playing backgammon with grandma uh, that's pure armenian All right joe chicho i thought lyme disease was incurable no you can you, you can uh, i don't know if you'll get rid of it permanently but you can recoup from it uh, but you you can't let it debilitate you uh, huge right you have to get on it fast and hard i i know someone that uh has recovered from it uh almost 100 percent uh she had it a long time ago uh took a few years and i know someone that uh still struggling with it big time okay i'm lucky i think uh but i heard symptoms can appear uh, later in life symptoms can appear later in life so ronnie to uh cheryl it was my sheer bad luck i never uh went thinking but i did with a friend once we decided to go off trail and i got a bite this was like five years ago and not no bad symptoms really i'm lucky i think uh but i heard symptoms can appear later in life wow 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 your resident thanks my pleasure my pleasure elder god investing in personal finance oh we're, so we're doing uh, uh investing in personal finance tomorrow cool oh yeah we're doing it on 2 22 uh, 2022 awesome what a day to do investing in personal finance and so gang we're doing an investing in personal finance tomorrow from 2 to 4 p.m so we can talk about investing personal finance stock market options and stuff like this i'll give you my opinion my take i won't have any presentations available like i won't i won't have any screenshots or anything i don't think i will you know if i can put something together by then i, I will but i think it's just going to be more of a discussion uh synthberry if the market crashes should i buy the dip uh depends on what you're buying all right i wouldn't buy a twitter disclaimer family has puts on twitter <laughs> funny oh we're almost at the end of the stream gang gang i'm scrolling down going down going down so you're shorting the market what's uh triggering the coming crash inflation uh interest rate increases um uh, i wouldn't say we're shorting the whole market uh family is long cannabis long nvidia long coin uh, long one other a uh, couple of other things and uh puts on a number of other uh, uh sectors okay 
Um, yeah, Elder God, I was disappointed no cooking stream was in the set, but I guess it's a uh, space issue. It is a space issue right now. And I thought about putting a cooking stream in there, but um, we had a lot of other things we could do that we're doing all kinds of things, so that's okay. But definitely, we will be doing cooking streams uh, soonish, I think. Plutonic for us, I'm also rooting for cooking stream, but may come in March. I think we'll do one in March. Spring, I think we're going to start doing the cooking. Joe Chicho, I'll post it on Discord page. The documentary is called Unnatural Selection. I watched it on Netflix a couple of years ago. I hope it's still on there. Cool. Uh, and no worries if it's not on there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could find it online somewhere. <laughs> Ronnie, I see. I tested the uh, negative, uh, but is this something that I should uh, get tested periodically, you think? Uh, fingers crossed. No symptoms come back. Yes, two, 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 two. Oh my God! Should be an interesting day tomorrow, gang. With the markets, really tomorrow. I think that's the reason I set it up for tomorrow, because the markets are closed today on Monday. It's some kind of President's Day in the United States and in Canada as well. Tomorrow the market opens in Canada, United States. Could be very interesting. Weekend on Barney's. How are you doing, Chicho? What's your experience with uh, thermodynamics? I've done some, but I've forgotten all of it, man. Uh, weekend of Barney's dude I did hydrogeology thermodynamics and stuff like this uh, I even took I think one graduate course graduate course in hydrodynamics uh, but I've forgotten it all I know the basic principles but the mathematics and the intricacies of it no Cheryl pro tip regarding ticks okay pro tip regarding regarding ticks from a gal who trumps around stream areas forests and pastures keep a tape roller the lint roller kind in your car or pack uh, then as soon as you get back use the roller over your whole body and outside uh, outside of gear it picks up even uh, it picks up even the teeny tiny guys so helpful really so one of those rollers the flint uh, the for getting rid of like pet hair and stuff that kind of stuff Cheryl one of the tape rollers I gotta get one of those Sanchez that's crazy man I kind of felt that you may be related to Iran are you related to Esfahan Armenians or Tabriz ones um, anyway uh, Kel Kelili Koshal Shodam Kelili Koshal Shodam Kelili Koshal Shodam I have a hard time reading Armenian and Farsi that's written in English. So means I'm very happy, uh, Sanchez is saying. And I, I was born in Tehran, but I lived in southern uh, Iran, uh, on the Iraq border in Khuzestan. Uh, one of the few Armenians that lived there. Like when I grew up, I didn't have any Armenian friends. There was no other Armenians there. All my friends were Iranian. Uh, I grew up as an Iranian. Armenian, we just spoke at home, right? Uh, so I was at the basically on the desert, the uh, part of the Arabian desert. Grew up in the desert down there. Phenomenal space to be in, brother. Phenomenal space to be in. Ronnie, it's quite possible that uh, you're not infected, but pay attention to things that are uh, known long-term symptoms that can't be attributed to overactivity, cold weather, joints will ache as you age, etc. Just keep uh, keep track. Wow! 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 Yeah, thanks, Cheryl, for the info. Let's read more, Cheryl. My pleasure. Sorry if too much info. I get excited when I actually know something helpful. That's a lot of helpful. That's good. Yep. Uh, pet hair lint roller. Duct tape uh, wrapped around your uh, fingers works too. Okay. Like a hand-sized tape duck. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, desert planet. Chicho. Mwandi. <laughs> Dune cool thanks for the tip Cheryl thanks for the tip uh, for the tip maybe for tomorrow market open we should go all in VIX haha <laughs> Ronnie uh, Joe Chicho could you do a really brief explanation of the arithmetic average or the mean I understand how to calculate it I'm just uh, having a oh, how we, oh brother how, having a hard time understanding exactly what the number tells us about a data set well it's just uh, like basically you're multiplying things out let me erase this this is going to be really quick brother 
so if we're if I get you correctly so for example if you're taking a uh, let's say 20 30 40 right let's say you just want the average of this average you're gonna go 20 plus 30 plus 40 and divided by 3 right so that's going to be uh, what is that 50 90 so um, equals 90 divided by 3 is equal to 45 that's the average of those three numbers right but let's assume these are exams that you're writing and towards the final mark this is worth um, this is worth 15% of your final mark this one is worth 20% of your final mark and this one's worth what is that 35 65 percent of your final mark so what you do to calculate the uh, weighted average you take this and multiply it by this so it's going to be 20 times 0 0.15 plus 30 times 0 0.20 plus 40 times 0 0.65 and then divide this whole thing by 3 I believe I haven't done this for a long time so it gives you it weights the stuff accordingly so it distributes the weight right uh, which is important to do which is important to do sure do you have any photos from where you grew up uh, yeah family albums and stuff but I don't really keep them I don't look at them really I'm not a nostalgia type of person uh, look in the past this was this I just go oh it was amazing time let's move forward right uh, let's enjoy the moment um, but yeah I do I do Mom, uh, let, let me rephrase mom does <laughs> mom does what's the most important of the Greeks when uh, when it comes to options according to you question from Sweden and this is someone mentioned this uh, for me the the beta the the movement I, I always forget what the names are for the options the which ones what but for me is how fast it moves right I think that's the beta right uh, because with the beta with the how fast uh, the volatility of the stock is the ones that are very volatile or the ones that really pay out well pay out well right um, the returns are good as well the ones that aren't very volatile are good to hedge your bets against right is to hedge because if you're wrong in a certain type of market crash or market pop then those um, those options retain their value more than the ones that fluctuate a lot right let me trade Bitcoin but we can talk about this tomorrow Joe uh, so the numbers bigger than the average are balanced against the numbers lower than the average yeah yeah that's what average does yeah that's natural there are mostly Arabs in Khuzestan I traveled to Avos yeah once uh, to visit some friends such a kind people. yeah it was an amazing place Sanchez I uh, grew up in Desful Andy Meshkan Desful uh, full-on very amazing amazing place to grow up man amazing place to grow up options are really tough because we try predict future price of underlying securities but all the time super tough super tough and you're gonna lose money on options certain options you buy you're gonna lose money but that's why you distribute and you wait right Vega is the volatility Vega is the volatility okay Vega is the volatility so I do I, I like the Vega is a Vega volatility no I gotta look into these things it's just become intuitive for me now right moms usually do <laughs> yeah for pictures I was trying to visualize how different it would have been then compared to now huge 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 the options mom usually like chicho 18 or now Joe how do you decide whether to use the mean or the median or mode uh, mean is mean is like average median is the middle number and mode is the most frequent number so if you're thinking about mean if you're going to use the mean or mode you wouldn't because mean is a different different measure than the mode mode is the one that appears the most right mean the mode could be way different than the mean the one that you should really look at if you want to decide which one to use is the mean or the median 
then the median is the middle number and that depends on the data set right that depends on the data set Elegon, when i see old clothes i wear i always say no way that i wear that haha <laughs> sometimes i say right on i wore that <laughs> gang let's call the stream let's call the stream thank you for being here thank you for the discussion it's fun fun mastering talking about everything including facial hair gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about you can follow the work on patreon i won't put anything behind paywall everything's creative comments share and share a like thank you jota haro for the follow for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in a large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing, as well as the support that we're getting on Twitch, which is where we're live streaming. So if you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for everything, right? Thank you for the love and mods. Thank you for being here. We could not be doing this without your support. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines, VK Gap, Parlor, Getter, and Parlor? Did we say it? Mines, VK Gap, Parlor, Getter, and BitCloud. And we do have a Discord page. You can come to our chat anytime you want in uh, on um, Twitch in our chat and type in exclamation mark discord or exclamation mark social and the invite for the discord page will be there we've got like a thousand people that are sharing information there which is fantastic uh i'll try good thank you very much gang for being here uh, uh, my pleasure my pleasure i spoke to someone who only looked at the uh, yeah the role and said that was the most important but that is the interest rate isn't that the least important yeah th to me i looked at that I, I someone else brought this up as well i didn't know what that was I, initially i thought i knew and then i looked it up and i went oh no that's something different uh, i wouldn't consider that to be the most important tell you the truth uh, interest rate or something it's when when you're doing options just think about this for me when i'm doing options one of the best plays you can make if there is high volatility stock and the market's in turmoil you could straddle a stock just before their earnings right a couple of days before their earnings sometimes they go down by the calls right and they go up by the puts right try to get at a good price and then they usually fluctuate at a certain level and if there is high movement with the stock they either pop or they drop and that movement is where you uh, make the coin right uh, gang what are we doing for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash uh soundcloud sound, soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to bit shoot to rumble and to odyssey so you can find all of our content on bit rumble and odyssey and uh, not everything on sensor tube. We don't load everything on sensor tube anymore, right? Uh, because the sensors don't like it. We need, we're, we're being shadow banned and uh, people are being unsubscribed without them knowing they're being unsubscribed and all that jazz. So, you know, our main effort is going on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. But for anyone supporting our work in any of this, these platforms, gang, thank you very much for the support. And if you can make it tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. my time, West Coast Pacific time, we're doing investing in personal finance. And we got five more streams coming up in the next five days. And the reason I set up these seven streams for these seven days is because I'm following the lead from uh, the trucker convoy and they called for a general strike and I canceled all of my students uh, this week. Okay. And I decided to do live streams. So I sent a message to all of my students. I said, this week, no teaching, no mathematics. Um, I didn't tell them why, because I don't want to introduce politics in my lessons for mathematics, but you guys are involved in the whole, whole deal. So just so you know, the reason we're doing seven live streams this week, um, that I have the time to do it is because I've joined the general strike for uh, the Canadian truckers and canceled everybody and um, we're going to share information. Okay. 
aside from that gang if you can make it i'll see you in one of the seven days one of the remaining five days of streaming that we have going on bye for now everybody